Mm, I wonder what song that is. Oh, you stopped it just as it was getting People going. People will have to wait until the Ooh, end. You're going to have to work it out. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, yes, it does. Yes. So now you have to see at the end how it all concludes. What was it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's Connect Up video. It is Saturday. It's the very last day of September. Where did September go? <laughs> well, quite. But who, what, <laughs> who's worried about coming to the end of the month when you have two cream cakes for breakfast? Mm. I know, I know. And these are here for a reason, as is behind us the cabbage and the bread and the marmalade. Yes. Um, these could soon be a thing of the past. Well, when I say soon, I yes. mean in the next 25 to 30 years. If you listen to Bill Maguire, academic, science writer and broadcaster. Now, we lead in today's Connect Up with, uh, well, a bit on Bill um, Maguire and yes. his uh, rather, uh, what's the word I want, catastrophic notion that society will start to break up in 2050. Uh, have a read of the lead and uh, see what you think. Is Bill right? Is he wrong? Or somewhere in between? Mm. Lots to think about. There is, but in essence, what we're saying is these little things could certainly become a luxury in the future. Mm. Mm. Yes. See what you think. There yeah. we go. So that's today's lead. Ties in with uh, we've had harvest over the last couple of weeks in our churches. We've done uh, five school harvest festivals during this week, and what a joy they are, aren't they? Fantastic. Really good. And so one of the lovely things mm. has been uh, uh, the ones where we've been, well, I mean, all of them have been lovely, but we've had one or two, haven't we, where the children have led everything. Yes, yes. And apart from, I think, kind of wheeling us on to do a welcome <laughs> and a blessing, <laughs> yes. that's been about it, literally. That's They've right. led the whole thing, so and, it's been really good. Yes, and alongside that, some incredibly generous donations towards the um, food bank as well. So really big thank you to all our local families yes. out there from all of our schools for all you have done to help support the food bank in the last week and of course to our congregations we had some fantastic donations last week and uh, we're looking forward to see what tomorrow brings i'm just going to put this out here <laughs> while we were setting up just there we had a, a bit of a mild spillage let's just say this is the second cup of tea and although i've got a dry chair now i've got a sopping wet floor <laughs> <laughs> and socks on my feet so I'm getting very wet toes here anyway that's by the by um, yes so thank you all for Harvest uh, Goodies tomorrow sees the last of our Harvest Festivals for this year so we've got services of Harvest in uh, Newenden and in Tenterden and in I know there's two more let me just think this through Newenden um, here we are I can tell you you can check it out now <laughs> we've got the list here Newenden Tenterden Appledore. Appledore. Is that it? Stone. Yes. And stone. Stone. And stone. stone. That's right. Very nice. Stone. That's yes. right. I knew there were four. Got there in the end. So yes. Yeah. Um, and the other special service tomorrow, in addition to all of those, is that at St Michael and All Angels, it is the Patronal Festival. So uh, St Michael's Day was yesterday, mm. and our little church up at St Michael's there will be celebrating their patron saint tomorrow. So there yes. we are. Lots to look forward to tomorrow, and uh, we'll come on to some other bits and pieces as well that are coming up in the next few days. Or do you want to start with that now? Well, I could do. Go for <clears> it. Well, I was just thinking that uh, uh, now you've mentioned St Michael and All Angels, um, someone, or two people rather, who mm. are going to be in need of guardian angels today are Tim and Mo, uh, heroes both. They are going to complete... No, let's start again. <laughs> They're going to start <laughs> and hopefully compete, no, complete, get the right yep. word in a moment, the Nine Church Run. Uh, it says uh, it's going to be about 30 miles and it's all in aid of the Rolvenden Clock Appeal. Now, you can read all about it in today's Connect Up and there's also a natty little button that takes you straight to Tim and Mo's crowdfunding page so you can sponsor them. Now, um, I think we published, was that today or yesterday? It was yesterday. A little timetable. There was a little timetable which says roughly. It might be in today, you never know. You never uh, know. Which will tell you <laughs> when they arrive at each church. And yes. um, so if you do fancy popping along uh, to cheer them on, then I know they will 
uh, they would gratefully uh, receive that all your applause and encouragement it's going to be a hard job, I think, isn't it? But um, yeah, rather than they've been me. training hard, so the very, very best of luck to Tim and Mo yes. today. So uh, hopefully the weather will be about right. Mm. <laughs> you never know, do Warm you? Warm but cool. Yes, if that's that what we need. Yes. Possible. And then uh, tomorrow evening at Wittersham Church, we have a two choir festival concert. So the choir from Wittersham are being joined by a choir from London. And this is to raise some money for Siobhan's Trust. So if you would like to go along to that at Wittersham Church tomorrow evening, it's starting at 5.30. Hmm. There we go. Monday, it's uh, Little Sparrows, once again, our parent and toddler group uh, from uh, well, between 9 and 11. Pop in and pop out uh, whenever you want to. That's for children aged four and under, yes. together with parents, grandparents or carers. And then on Wednesday evening, because we the complete antithesis of that, come along to Christian Meditation, medita I'll put my teeth in in a minute, Christian Meditation, that's going to be intensive yeah. in church with Sharon from six o'clock on Wednesday evening. So do come along for some peace and quiet. Uh, cappuccinos, which is our coffee session for those who've been recently bereaved, uh, that's going to be at the Vine uh, on a week to Today, today. We today yes, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, the seventh of October, um, from ten thirty yeah. till eleven forty-five. And again, come along and leave whenever you like. Uh, all that we would uh, encourage you to do is to go down the as you stand, look at the pub uh, from the high street. Go down the right-hand side and in through the rear entrance, mm. um, so that you can. Uh, Get in, otherwise you won't. <laughs> the front door is locked. Yes. So there we go. Uh, Wednesday Lunch Club, please book the date in your diary if you are on your own and would like to come and join the Wednesday Lunch Club. The next one is on Wednesday the 18th of October. Mm. That takes place <clears throat> in St Mildred's Church Hall from 12.45. And for the princely sum of £4, you will get a sumptuous lunch, wonderful company, and uh, waiter and waitress service. Yes, and turning the page of my briefing sheet, I see that we have a harvest supper on Saturday the 7th of October at Stone in Oxney, half past six for seven in Stone Memorial Hall, and for the princely sum of 10 pounds, you will receive a two course meal with tea or coffee. Bring your own drink. I don't Pre think that means the tea or coffee. No. no, no, you're going to get that, but uh, yes, yes, anything alcoholic, well, or soft, really, I suppose. Mm. Uh, pre booking essential by Wednesday, October the 4th, and there's a number there to ring to book your ticket. And it's all by kind invitation of Richard and Steve. Sounds wonderful. Mm. So, there we go, good people mm. of Stone. Thank you very much for that. Yes. Now, Cranbrook Town Band are going to be in concert on Thursday the 19th of October at Wittersham Church. Uh, the entrance fee for that is by donation. The concert starts at 7.45 and everybody is welcome to come along and enjoy the music of the Cranbrook Town Band. So put the date in your diary. What else would you want to do on a Thursday evening? Well, quite. There yeah, we are. Exactly. Yes. Um, Sunday Lunch Club, a reminder there's no October, no October lunch. Uh, so the next one will be on Sunday the 5th of November and um, there are instructions there how to book in. And the very next day, I'll tell you what, it's very That's interesting. For people who live on their own by the way, sorry. Yes, yes. it is. Um, the very next day is Pine Pint and it's just occurred to me after our opening article just how many of these events focus around oh, food. Yes. So uh, mm, I have to say the, uh, the uh, lead article today will really give you something to think about so um yes, it's there quite, we go but quite sobering but he does end up on a positive note uh, which is uh of the great need for cooperation sharing and working together uh the underlying ethos of life needs to be one of cooperation mm. good words mm. so uh, so there we go and what i never quite finished saying but i did Sorry. three no 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 not you that was me uh three attempts pie and pint Next one is on Monday the 6th of November. Uh, because of Iona and things, Pie and Pint have got a little bit out of sync. So come November, back to normal. So Pie and Pint is for uh, mainly, but not exclusively, for men who have been bereaved. So if you fancy Pie and Pint with uh, the, the men of our team, 
Yeah. Then uh, 6th of November it is down at the Vine. And the quality of conversation uh, needs to be experienced. Does it? Oh, it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> yes. Now, um, yes. we have three cakes here this morning, of course. We do. These two. Yes. Either side. And that and one. our birthday cake. Now, um, I did have a taper. Right. I think it got moved in the spillage. Hang on. Okay. Yeah, we moved the, I moved the birthday cake to one side, totally oblivious <laughs> to the presence of a cup of tea yeah. uh, down here. But there we are. <coughs> at, least it, well. at least it went your side. And now I've got an even hotter cup of tea. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, so if, do, you want to, do you want to light and I'll just read out you the... you read out who's got the birthdays? Birthday people. There we go. So you can tell that's had tea on it. <laughs> Now, here's sparks down here. Um, right, go yes. for it. Now, uh, hot on the heels of her wedding anniversary, uh, it's George de Villiers' birthday, and that's uh, this very day. Um, it is, yes. Okay. Happy birthday and then, uh, today, Jim. Tomorrow sees a double celebration because it's uh, Becky Kennett's birthday uh -huh. and also Sarah Worrell, Worrell's birthday. And on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, it's going to be Ruth Gardner's. And I think Ruth's having a little soiree uh, in the middle is. of the afternoon. I, I think it's an O birthday. Oh, I'm right. pretty sure it's an O birthday. Uh, if you can have a soiree in the middle of the afternoon. Yes. Um, and then on Wednesday, it's Caroline Salmon celebration. So it's one, two, three, four, five. That's there right. There we go. All, all female. Mm. Yeah. How very interesting. Now, we, we just, just a plug. We always do this or often. Uh, do let us know if it's your birthday or somebody else's. And uh, then... Uh, we'll sing to you or to them. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, are we something all set? to be wished for? Right. Are we ready? Yes. I think we are <coughs> ready. So let's. Uh, Lord. Lord. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jill, Becky, Sarah, Ruth, and Caroline. Happy birthday to you. Excellent. Good. They were good names because, uh, you know, the way they all fitted together. They did. Mm. There was there was real harmony mm, there. It was, yes. <laughs> Made it easy to sing this week. Certainly did. Right. right that's a lot. Um, oh. Have a good Saturday. Look out for Tim and Mo if you're out and about. Yes, indeed. And we wish them well and wish them a safe, above all else, mm. a safe run today. Good. Uh, yes. Time for cake? Time for cake. Well, let's put our song on because okay. that... And it sets the background. Well, no peas pudding or savonoy. <laughs> Thank goodness but we do for that. have this ready for breakfast on a Saturday morning. What more could you wish for? No more talking. <laughs> no looking at bits. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Enjoy your breakfast. Bye.